yo, welcome back to the channel, ay. And I'm back with another one, another video, ay. Another one, another video. Ay, listen, let me tell y'all something. Don't keep up with the Joneses. Stay in your lane and stay focused, right? We don't need to keep up with the Joneses. Stay in your lane and stay focused. Stay in your lane. Message for today? Stay in your lane, baby. Stay in your lane, baby. Hey. 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 But what's up? All right, I'm done singing. What's up, y'all? Look, 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 look. Let's get right into it, okay? Some of us need to stay in our lane. We all have a lane, okay? Some of us have to find what lane we're in. But I encourage you to stay in your lane. You don't have to look like them, talk like them, walk like them act like them. You be you. Whoever you are, be you. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. I see so many people trying to keep up with the Joneses. Like, you know, you'll look on Instagram, right? And you'll see some people who have a, who just pretty much it's a facade. It's, it's fake. Like they'll have, you know, look like they have all this money and it looks like they have all these nice cars and it looks like, you know, they have all these nice designer clothes and stuff like that and a lot of the cars that they have they're running or the house that they have is not probably even their house or maybe they're taking a picture in front of somebody's car and it's not even the car the clothes that they're wearing they're not, it's not even it's not even real it's fake not coming at people for doing this type of things because people do rent cars um people do take pictures in front of nice cars you know because the car is nice however it's whenever you act like it's yours it's act it's when you act like you own it it's when you're trying to act like you got something that you don't Okay, and I'm going to pull scripture up. I'm going to read to y'all the scripture, and I'll also put it on here so you can see for yourself. Proverbs 13, verse 7. Some who are poor pretend to be rich. Others who are rich pretend to be poor. Now, what really pointed out to me was some who are poor pretend to be rich. People who know they don't have it like that, but act like they do. And then there's some people who are rich but pretend to be poor. And I ain't saying, like, you can't, but I'm just like, they don't have to show they have all this money, but basically they're more humble. So they're, they're just like, I don't have to show I got money. I'm just going to be myself. But it's for the people who don't got it like that and act like they do. And it's like, stay in your lane. If you're not there yet, you're just not there yet. That doesn't mean that you can't wear nice stuff. It doesn't mean that you can't have high quality things. Because listen, even if you don't got it like that, you can still look good, still, you know what I'm saying? You can still have nice things that you want to have. But don't be out here acting like you got all this going on. We have to be real with ourselves. We got to stay in our lane, okay? If your lane is over there, stay in it. If your lane's over here, stay in it, okay? Also, another thing is this. I see a lot of people, um, say for instance, okay, rappers, right? We, have, we see so many rappers nowadays to the point where there's not even that many singers like there used to be back in the day. Um, and then there's some rappers, you know, no offense, that their lyrics ain't all that. Let's just say that. The lyrics ain't all that. They'll just say anything with a beat and it'd be like, to me, everyone's not a rapper. That's just me. I am not trying to be judgmental. I'm being honest. Everyone is not a rapper, but because there's so many people doing it, people think it's easy to do it, so they jump on the bandwagon. And then come to find out a couple years later, they don't want to do that because that's not really what they were supposed to do. They're not staying in their lane. For another example, I see a lot of life coaches, a lot of relationship coaches. Everybody is not a life coach and everybody is not a relationship coach. Again, for the people who really aren't in the next couple years, they're not going to last. But in the next 10, 15 years, you still see a person that's a life coach because that's probably their purpose. That's probably... That's probably what they were put on this earth to do. So we all have a purpose. We all have, you know, dreams and goals. We all have certain skills that we're good at. I think that we should work on perfecting them. I think that we should work on staying in our lane. Again, when I'm talking about, okay, purpose, looking like uh, your looks, whatever, stay in your lane. Some of us be, you know, uncomfortable. Like, even when it comes, I'll say, even when it comes to looks, some people want to look like other people. Like, to the point where they'll get surgery to look like a certain celebrity or wear certain clothes just to look like other people. And then deep down in their heart, that's not even really what they want to do. That's not even really who they are. But because they feel like they have to keep up with the Joneses, look like everybody else is looking, fit in, they do certain things to fit in. But... If you're the type of person that stands out, then stand out. Okay? 
If you want to wear, if you don't want to wear different color hair and you just feel like black hair is for you, do that. Okay? If you don't want to wear weave and you just want to wear your natural hair, wear your natural hair. Like, we just have to learn to stay in our lane. And, I, and here's my thing. When you learn to stay in your lane, you'll realize you might be the best one in that lane. You might be the best one in that lane. And just like I was stating earlier, sorry if I'm jumping everywhere back and forth, but like I was stating earlier, people who um, take on certain life careers or whatever, and they know deep down in their heart that's not what they want to do, but they're doing it because they see a lot of people doing it, and they see their friends making money from it, so they do it. For example, I was watching a video of a young lady who does OnlyFans. Why was she doing OnlyFans? Because she's seen other people do OnlyFans and they were making good money. But she stopped doing OnlyFans and she regretted doing it because she was like, I, I can't even really get real jobs. People don't take me serious. And she was like, that that kind of, not ruined, it didn't ruin her career, but it kind of slowed her down in a way. And she doesn't like how people see her. But deep down in her heart, that's not really what she wanted to do. But she was doing it because she's seen other people getting money. Don't, don't, don't be deceived. Don't be, don't be deceived by what you see. Don't allow what you see to, to completely, um, control your, your, your decisions. Don't, don't be easily deceived. Definitely do your research. If there's something that you're interested in, if you want to go to school for law, if you want to go to school for psychology, if you want to go to school for communications or whatever you want to do, you want to be a fashion designer and that's something that you really want to do, study it, learn it. Learn the ins and outs of it. Because sometimes we need to see what we're getting into before we get into it. So learn it first. Then see if that's something that you want to do. Sometimes we have to try things in order to see if that's for us. Some of us don't even know what we're good at. But it takes for you to try new things to figure it out. Maybe you need to take a plane, maybe you need to take a painting class and make take a couple classes. See if you like it. See if this is something for you. Nine times out of ten, your purpose has to do with what's already on the inside, with you what what already you desire, what your dreams and goals are. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes we don't even know our purpose. Because to be honest with you, I didn't even know my purpose until I was like in college or got out of college. And that was what, like what? I only did seven years. I don't know. I graduated in 2015. Yeah, so you count. No, seven years ago. Yeah, that was seven years ago. I know now. I didn't even really start doing it till a couple years ago. Till like two years ago, I didn't really start really like doing like videos and like speaking until like two years ago. So some of us have to figure out what our purpose is, and that's why I say try new things and and do your research. Don't just jump into the water because sometimes we be jumping into water and find out it's actually lava. You ever do that? You ever just jump into something? You don't. You didn't do your research. You didn't figure out if it's something that you like. You didn't trial run. You didn't do a trial run. You didn't do a test run. You just seen somebody else doing this, so you did it. You just seen somebody else getting a job, so you went and applied for that job. Again, do your research. Stay in your lane. When you do your research, that helps you stay in your lane. When you figure out what this thing is really about, that will help you stay in your lane. Listen, when I was talking earlier about people so many people being rappers now there are a lot of people that are rappers that only been rapping for a couple years and now are ready to quit because of the pressure because of all of the unexpected things that they didn't know was going to take place there's a lot that comes with certain stuff everything comes with something that's why we need to know what we're getting ourselves into so, so don't be naive know what you're getting yourself into right do your research Make sure you have knowledge of that thing that you have a desire of. And when you have the knowledge, then you'll know, okay, this is for me or this is not for me. Some things in life, you, you it's, it's just going to be natural. Some stuff in life, you're just going to naturally be able to do. And you'll know that's for you. You've been doing it since you was like two years old. But when you don't really know what's for you, test it out first. Don't try to be like Becky or Sierra or or Sharon or Michael. Okay, don't try to be like them. Be Be you. And I know some of us may not even know who we are right now. That's why it takes for you to read books, learn stuff, try new things, start uh, taking classes. You know what I'm saying? Figure out who you really are, what you really like, and what suits you. Stay in your lane. I don't care how much pressure of the world, 
how much uh, pressure you have of the world because you're going to have pressure of the world. The world is going to try to pressure you to be like this or pressure you to look like that or pressure you to talk like that or pressure you to, to walk like that. Pressure you, to have to, pressure you to have this type of job. You know what I'm saying? We have to stay in our lane because maybe that job is not for you. Maybe you're not a mechanic. Maybe that's not, maybe you, you know how to work on cars, but you're not a mechanic. Maybe you're not a receptionist, okay? Maybe you're not a cook. You know, figure out what you like to do. Figure out what you're good at. And if you're not good at certain things, take the time to keep on getting better and see if there's something that you love to do. Listen, y'all, you want to do something where you don't feel like you're working. That's what purpose is about. Purpose is about giving back. Purpose is about something that you have to give. Like something that you have, a gift or a talent or whatever, but you're giving back to people. Like, okay, you may be a giver. You may be somebody that has a shelter and you like to make sure you feed people, make sure people have somewhere to sleep. You know, you're giving back in some type of way. So it's not just about you, but I want you to know that um, definitely do your research, study what it is that you like and make sure you love it. Okay, love it. They ain't, listen, it is not impossible to be out here making money by doing what you love. It is not impossible. It is not. I know people try to say, you ain't going to make money doing that. You ain't going to make money being a painter. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Know your worth. Yes, you can. But um, I believe that so many of us would be a lot more comfortable in our skin if we would just stay in our lane. Stay in your lane. Don't keep up with the Joneses. All right, look, I know I repeated myself like 1,500 times, but hey, I hope this helps you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Be sure to join the team, okay? It's not going to hurt you. Just join or <laughs> whatever. Also, I have a reaction channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to that channel and watch it or whatever. Or you can just watch it, you know, like a couple videos. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. It's up to you, but God bless y'all. Stay tuned.